Calamari's on the menu. I thought that was supposed to do things! Indiana Jones! Chocolate rain! It pours down from that large old sewer drain. Chocolate rain. Zombie tadpoles trying to eat my brain. Chocolate rain. Oh, God. Hello. Oops. Hello. Howdy. Hi. Welcome. Good to see you. Going live a little bit earlier today because tonight is the new season of Fallout. Golly. Am I excited. Golly. Am I such a huge Fallout fan. So, so hyped about this. So hyped about the new Fallout tonight that we're going to do the stream a little bit early. We got two or three little scary games to play, and then uh, I will go watch some Fallout, do some videos on it, review it, and tell you all what I think about it tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys will go on the Discord tonight and tell us what you think about it tonight. If you guys want to support the broadcast, the best way to do it, of course, is to send super chats or become a member yourself. How many dollars was this game? I don't know. Oh, one of them was five dollars, and I forgot to unzip it. Oops. I'll do it now. Chat bots aren't even showing up because I don't need it. It's 1.3 gigabyte. So the first game we're playing is a game called Iron Belly, which I have no idea if it's from the folks that made Iron Lung. Maybe it's the same group, producer, developer. Then we got another game after that called Irritated Mind, which is a FNAF fan game that you can pick up on Steam. And then we'll round out the broadcast tonight with a brand new horror game called Night Bus. That one did cost money, that one cost $5. Will you be enjoying a can of 1998 Cherry Coke during the premiere? Uh, no. I got some Voodoo Ranger IPAs, and I'm going to make chicken and potatoes. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Mama Justice. Hello, Dan. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Jordan. What streaming service for the new Fallout? Amazon. And in a weird, unconventional way of doing things, they are releasing the entire season in one plot. So you can watch all eight episodes at once tonight or tomorrow, whenever you decide to watch it. Normally they, they slow trickle it out, you know, one episode a week, whatever the case may be, to keep anticipation up and keep engagement up. But yep, the whole season out tonight on Amazon, 6 p.m. West Coast time. And then that would be 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's an odd way to do it. I, I can't remember the last show. Netflix used to do a lot of the entire season in one episode binge watching kind of a thing, but apparently that's something of the past. Let's do it. 
Let's go to our feature presentation. This game's called Iron Belly. What did I just delete? Didn't mean to do that. So I promise the entire game does not look like this, but it is a PSX style horror game. I think the premise behind it, from what I understand, from what I heard, was is that you escape from a Russian prison or something and end up having to steal this train or jump on this train and use it to escape and some crazy things happen. It looks glorious. Oh, I can't wait for somebody to say, what are these? PlayStation 1 graphics? They are. That's the purpose. Press any key. Will this game come out in Windows 95? <laughs> Finally. I was able to escape from them. Wait. Let me see what this train is. So we don't know who them is. We don't know what train it is. You love PS1 graphics? Me too. That's it's an art style that I really, really enjoy. You're thinking more like Dreamcast? Oh, you're... You're one of them, huh? So is that the prison that I escaped from? Who the hell just leaves a train sitting out here? Hmm... Potato, 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 potato. Coin, coin. I don't think I got any coins. I have nothing. Hello, cat. How can I get money from you? Straight to the point. So I, I've, I know I've spoke about how I've discovered I've got a little gluten intolerant. And uh, as a result of changing my diet around, I do a lot of that now. Go figure. Not the best. Not the best living conditions recently. It's like they've opened the floodgates. What do you think is more useful than money in the middle of war? I don't know. Bullet, life pack, ballistic helmet, tactical vest. I do not know. Maybe food? Yeah, food's important. A food that does not spoil. Bring me potato. I will give 10 coins for each potato. Hello, Jolene. Also, thank you for the first blurb of the broadcast. We got to go find some potatoes. Every potato, I'll give you 10 coins. Let's just go over here to this potato farm and steal all this guy's potatoes. I'll leave that be for now. Pray with me, traveler. So this guy is a merchant, and he has got the following weapons. A le no, that's a lever. I need to get potato so I can get the money so that I can buy the parts so I can put them on the train. So, I need five potatoes in order to find the a pay for the lever so that we can escape wrench a device for fixing which is 120 and then a knife which the urge to buy the knife immediately is there but I'm not going to buy the Lord's time. you don't know if the Lord likes and doesn't like you never talk to him hey buddy what are you looking for brother I'm looking for potatoes I just want to get to know the people of the village. Not really, I need potatoes. Strangely, a stranger has not come to our village for a long time. See, this is why I don't go out in public and talk to people. This is the kind of conversations that you have. Strangely, nobody strange has been to this town in a long time. Look, I need to be back on the camera again, my bad. If I was potatoes, 
And I was potatoes. The skate one opened in a new update. All right. Potatoes don't grow from trees. Potatoes grow from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a queef or a, a blast? What's up, Atreyu? Another weird-ass villager. Hey, potato! Yoink! You know, I do kind of feel bad, though, for stealing a church potato. Don't know what the rules are about stealing church potatoes. Some tombstone. Definitely not thinking about taking a number two. Okay, I, surely the potatoes will be in places where you would actually look for them. Like maybe in this shop floor or over here in the corner. No potato. Potato, potato. A kingdom for a potato. Maybe I, I have should... potato blood in my veins. My life, it's potato. <laughs> ha! I love potato. Potato is good. Potato is life. I do like potato. Double potato. Yoinkage. Yoinkage. Double potato. This can be used for. This can be used for Putin into Saul. Oh, that's. That's where you put a body. Oh. That's not even a torture device. That's a turn up man device oh and then you make a like a did you guys know this is where they make hot dogs wrong button yum yum it's a meal in itself our all meat super dog enjoy one now i don't know why that's there and i don't know why they mentioned putin but they did. So this is our life now. I found three potatoes. Young lady, do you have potato? Grand woman. I am looking for my grandson. Okay. I'll find him. Don't worry. For the power of potato. Are you a grandson? I am the protector of this village. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Morgan. <laughs> I am protector of village. No, I mean, I guess you are. Let's go check the train and see if there are any potato on train. Whoa. I don't look good. Potato on train. Aha! Potato always on train. Potato live train long time. Potato? bucket we need that so that we can whatever grind people up in the slurry ah oh, man I just need one more potato for that lever. But I don't know if I should buy the lever first or if I should buy the knife first. 
There's a lot of people in town that need a good stabbing. And I know just the guy to deliver it. The knife? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe we go knife too. I can't get off the train, guys. We're stuck on this train forever. We're doomed. I could escape. Or I could pull the knife out and get sweet revenge on all the stuff they did to me. Oh, I'm off the train. Never mind. Potato? Potato? Hello, Greg. That's the town. Where else have I not looked for a potato? I've not looked in the tunnel yet for a potato. I think I'm cursed. Either I'm cursed, or I always do every single thing that the developer would never expect somebody to do. Because I always find a way to break every single indie game that I play. I don't know how I do that. Hey, Jen, but I do it. You got a, you got an indie horror game? You got an indie game? Do you got a game? Do you want to make sure that your game goes from triple A to quadruple A? Put it through a trial by Blade. I promise. I'll break it. And if I don't break it, I'll break you. That's a Scotty Blade breaking guarantee. Who have I not talked to yet? That woman said, she, I bet that woman will give me a potato as a reward for finding her grandson. But I've not seen anybody that... Maybe the dude right here is a kid? Are you a kid? I can't talk to him anymore. Potato, potato. You got potatoes? What kind of potatoes are you talking about, Betty? The good kind? Or the good kind? You know, the ones that have been left in the closet for too long. And they get those little spuds all over them. I own this house. My family is dead. I do not care. Potatoes and tequila shots? That actually makes me barf a little bit on the inside. That sounds terrible. Okay, I got the bucket. Let's at least go in here and put the bucket under this thing and see what happens bucket much better nice and warm hey Troy I need a victim <laughs> hello Tracy let's go find some victims are you want to be my victim he's a protector of town we definitely got to buy the knife first potato I'll be your victim let me get in there deep. And then I'll hang you up on my hook. <laughs> I'll be your victim, sir! <laughs> A tribute to the League of Blades. I'll be, your, I'll be your tribute. Where in the hell they would stick another potato? I don't know. I'm looking for my grandson. Okay! This game is called Iron Belly. <laughs> uh. 
Hey, at least they're committed. We just need one more potato. I can buy a knife. Where in the hell did I miss the potato at? That second guy's voice was angelic. <laughs> I mean, he was really rolling them notes. But when you're inspired, you're inspired. What can I say? You'll sing about whatever you love. You'll sing about whatever you're passionate about. And that guy, in his buddy's case, is gargling some man gravy, I guess. A low-budget game at its finest? Oh, what a savage. Mm. Where did I miss potatoes? I've not seen the movie Midsummer, but you know I should watch it because it's got that chick in it that I love. Lawrence Pugh. I watched her, I had no idea who she was, but I watched her run around with Bear Grylls in some survival show. And I was like, man, she's awesome. She's down to earth. She ain't nothing like Hollywood. And then I realized I've actually seen a couple movies that she was in. And they mostly all suck, but that's not her fault. She was in the new Black Widow movie. That was awful. She was in Oppenheimer. That was really good, but she didn't play much of a part. I can't find a potato. Yeah, I've heard Midsummer's fantastic. I just haven't watched it. But now that I know Florence Pugh's in it, I'll go back and watch it. Let's... Maybe this guy will give me a bonus potato for turning in four potatoes, but I'm... Missing a potato. Sell potatoes. I collected $200. What? He said he would give me 10 coins for each potato. Whatever, man. All I know is I can buy a knife now. Let's go get our first victim. I'm going to kill the kid. Take penance with these tools. Oh, I will. I will. So, I also still have three potatoes. What? This game's weird. Nothing according to the rules are the same. Are you a Far Cry fan? <laughs> I'm gonna kill the kid. The one that said that his family's dead. I, uh, I am not a Far Cry fan. No. Not a Far Cry fan. There's a game for you on Steam. It's called Don't Pee. You need to find all the toilet plate pieces and you can't pee until you do. I think I've seen that game where you can die from over pee exposure. <laughs> Take care of my son. You're welcome. She didn't say bring the grandkids back alive? Bingo. Let's sell the rest of our potatoes. I had no idea that he only took one potato for 200 gold. He told me, he told me, one potato, 10 gold. I am rich. And I'm gonna, he's, I don't know, he may be the first guy I kill. There's also a shack back there I didn't know about. I ain't talking about Big Shack. Pray with me, traveler. Let's buy the wrench, which is used to fix the train. Let's buy the lever, which is also used to fix the train. And let's go stab a guy. Ah, uh, yes. Our lord is pleased. That's good. Hmm. Feels good in my hand. Balance. Every blade needs a name. And the name should be inspired by the world that you're in. 
So for some effing reason, these morons are all trading potatoes for gold and using medieval weapons, and yet there's power lines running. So I'm going to call this blade Conundrum. Let's go take Conundrum and make a name for ourselves. Call it Stabatha. Maybe in the full game, potato sells for 10 coins in a demo. Yeah. I'm down with that. Call it Tetanus. Name the blade Powerline. <laughs> so we're going to name the blade Powerline. <laughs> Kill the kid. <laughs> Kill the kid. I wonder if the protector's watching. I wonder how far this guy will go. He's got a wizard force field. Nobody told me that. Oh, oh he don't care. This is a weird town. I'm getting tired from all this stabbing. Why don't you just die? Yeah. Crawl to daddy. I mean, I guess technically he's crawling away from me. Crawl back to daddy. I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle, let my spirit set me free. I'm going to fly. What's up, Sam Purser? Are you wearing them like a hat? Yeah. Guys, passion is coming back around full circle. Remember when Daniel Boone had his ferret hat? Well, it's all coming back full circle now. You know what's out? Fur. You know what's in? Human destructive mangled organs. Meat puppet, yeah. You know what's out? Fur. You know what's in? Flesh. Uh huh.
I have no idea why I played that transition. Hello, Michelle. Yum, yum. This is the transition I was trying to play. Yum, yum. It's a meal in itself. Our all meat super dog. Enjoy one now. That was actually what I was trying to play. But I had no idea that human is train fuel. Humans is train fuel. Hummus is lame fuel. <laughs> Enjoy. That's the sound that it makes. The sound that it makes. Alright. The gas tank is half full now. Cock meat is meat. Yeah, I mean, whatever you're into. What do you think? I wonder if the game will break if I kill the merchant. cannot in fact kill the merchant but I can sell potatoes you need a potato I don't have potatoes I'm driving so I'm using speech to text I can't get to my blurb so just imagine that I played the chili dog burp imagining imagining Imagining. That was a good one, Ted. <laughs> let's kill the town. For, let's kill that old woman. Let's kill the grand woman. She's been around long enough. Hi. I would like to introduce you to my knife, Powerline. Shocking, isn't it? You're lucky you're old. <laughs> God, that scared the hell out of me! Jokes on you, Grandma! I'm in the prime of my life! Ooh, Grandma got that stinky leg. Grandma! Oh! Close them doors, Grandma! Ooh! Grandma! Smells like mothball. Ah! Smells like mothballs down there. any victim on my hand. I have any victim on my hand. You know what's sad? He realized I'm holding his dead grandma and he didn't bother running away. But listen, man. I'm doing a public service. You can't trust anybody who wears khaki pants and a polo with their shirt tucked in. That just screams pedo. He's probably wearing socks and sandals, too. Am I getting them? Alright, let's go cut Grandma up.
What am I playing? I'm playing a horror game called Iron Belly. I think I'm not saying iron right. This is a rather dark FNAF. Dan, you watch this show. You know that if I'm not in the middle of a series, that normally every single stream has got multiple games in it, so that way people can stay fresh. You know that this is not a Five Nights at Freddy's game, and you also know because you've been here since the very beginning, and you know that this is not a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Iron Belly. Our valley. Well, at least you guys don't call me Rick Moranis no more. You just make fun of my accent now. I think last night, the word counter for YouTube said my most engaged comment was the word wash. I think wash got said 27 times. Which FNAF is this one? I'll FNAF you in a minute. The prequel, all the people murder, the souls going in. There you go. That's true. That's actually lore correct. Except that it was kids, but you get it. It's very dark. Six valve. Valve fix. All right, guys, it's time to escape. I'll remember you all in therapy. Blood is the fuel, yep. You know, I just fall. I don't know how to drive a train. Me drunk. What the fuck happened to the tray? I have to check the tray. All right, let's go check it. What's up, Eric and Eric? We got a whole lot of Eric power here in the last couple of minutes. Welcome to the adventure tonight, guys. Who all's excited for Fallout? And who all's going to watch it tonight? You hear it really good? I do too. Only one mile left to the destination. The train told me that? John, you did your job well. Now is the time to sacrifice yourself in this direction. Please 
follow me on itch. You know why I really got into that? Because I put myself in that person's shoes and I felt those saws and those blades eat into my body. And you know that would have to hurt. Hopefully, it would hit something that would cut off all circulation to your brain and your pain sensors so that you would not feel it. But, yeah, that would have been rough. That game was called Iron Lung. Iron uh, Belly. That was just a demo. Full game is not out yet. I will reach out to the dev and ask for a copy because I actually like that. That was pretty cool. This game's called Aerated Mind. Fear of Water Legs. News Warehouse. This is the FNAF game. This game contains intense moments. Forget it. Use your headphones for a better... Forget it. This game's called Era... Era... Erratic... Fear of Warehouse. And of course, this is a FNAF fan game, which means that It'll have some FNAF style things to it. Should be fun. Before we go any further, folks, don't forget to do the YouTube thing. Add some fuel to the blade fire so that we can bribe. We can bribe bright. Which Assassin's Creed is this? <sighs> I didn't. We'll start a new game. That's a red panda? Why'd you say oof? Is that supposed to be cool? Is the fuel to the blade fire blood as well? Yeah. That's why certain people disappear and never come back because there's little minions in the audience that go around grabbing you guys up and taking you about back and putting you on a hook, cutting up that sack. Here we go. Why am I in a vent? All the decks. Holy crap. Not sure what that was. Hey, Margaret. You're a minion? Jen, could you ask Scotty what day Fallout premieres for me? I put up a post on Facebook reminding people that it got pushed the day forward. Most of the people that responded to that post told me that I was wrong. The urge when you're going through social media to see something and instead of taking an extra second to make sure that you're right, you are compelled to comment wrongly on a post It's not today! Did you... Did you think to check before you said that? No! Ah! I need to find a way to get out before I'm... They find out that I'm here. I need car keys. Alright, of course. Of course, car keys, car keys. I'm, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Car keys. I'm working on it. Looking for keys. Please don't kill me. I need keys. I'm going. It says locker. Okay, that's not keys. Oh, my God. Today's the day. Well, you wouldn't know from half the social media posts that told me I was wrong. Locker, 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 locker. Where is the locker? Just come in and kill me. Hey, Brandon. Okay, apparently that's a locker. Key with car brand on it, okay? 
Hey, Sean Ecky. The door is locked. Okay. Please stop. Press E to interact. There's nothing there. The door is locked. Where's the key? Seven days have passed. Goku. Stomach's rumbling. I think it's time for a snack. I'd rather find out somewhere to rent accommodation. It's a weird word. What's up, Justin? I need to withdraw some money. Let's do it. I think I can also ask this guy where to find a place to rent. The attention span on people these days, man. Hello? Um, streamer, hello? I'm out of here. <laughs> out of here. Gotta go fast. Am I drunk or is the game broken? He ran for you bet. Didn't give me a second to even. I read. I just had a chance to look up and look at the messages. Hi. Not even a second later. Um, hello? Give me a minute. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Most streamers don't even talk to their chat. Hello. That will be a free hunt again. Do you need a bag? Yeah, give me a bag. Yes, give me a bag, damn it. Okay. I've never seen it here before. It's rare to see someone new here. I will come out of town. Yeah, it's my first time here and I'm looking for a place to rent. Oh, that's crazy cool. I didn't think anyone would want to live in the middle of nowhere like that. I'm Michael. By the way, nice to meet you. Not here to make friends. I'm here to rent a house. Anyway, if you're looking for where to rent an apartment, you might try to get a local rescue. And by the way, my neighbor seems to be looking for someone to rent his apartment. I can give you his contact information if you are interested. It's probably just your phone number, right? Do you know anything about his apartment? Expensive. And about the apartment, I do not know much. I've heard talking, but 
bit small and the basic gravity infinite seems to be the divided last one. I will consider that option. Thanks for the help. Awesome. But it's still more often. I work here almost 24 7. So I'll call this if you are in an apartment. I live like this. Good luck. Alright, have a good night. Let me check that place and. Forget trying to read. You know that you have to read it so damn fast you can't download the information. It's up there for three seconds and it's gone. I couldn't read all of it. I have no idea what he wanted me to do. Check on the neighbor's house, but that's about the gist of what I got. So you're doing us a favor by talking to us. You found a pigeon. Plus one pigeon. A few days later. So I rented apartment number 55. It's time to head home. All right. 52. Michael turned out to be pretty cool. He lives next door in apartment 54. All right. A domestic, which is pretty consistent. Quality favor? Yeah, it's... That's what I do, man. Just providing favors. Secret pigeon? Thought the keys were in my pocket. Maybe I left them at Michael's. Is that the guy next door? It is. Creepy. Did you hear me say Michael in my brain? Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't think I'm in my apartment anymore. What did the beginning car scene have to do with anything? All right. There's got to be a faster way than this. Tribute has been made. Our first tribute of tonight's adventure. One hour in. Coming through the clutch there, Melton. Melton, thank you so much, my friend. For the five bones, I have no idea why, for some reason, the alert system picks on you and 
it picks and chooses alerts for whatever reason I don't know, but it seems like it always skips yours and Betty's, and I don't know why it does that. But thank you so much, Belton. For the first tribute of the night, thank you. For the $5 Super Chat, thank you very much. I'm Scotty Blade, and here at Action Heroes for Hire, we are here to be hired for you to be a hero. Camera. Hi, I'm Scotty Line Blades, Action Hero for Hire. Do you have a problem that needs a solution? Do you have a problem that needs a solution? Werewolves? Have some silver. Give me a Zombies? Nothing that old Boomer can't fix. <laughs> Nazis? That's so 1942. Aliens? Get out of here off my earth. Taxes? Solve world hunger? It's a pizza. Here at Scotty Blade's Action Hero for Hire, we got a problem for all your solutions. Which, which camera deck? No mission too big, no challenge too hard. I don't know what to do with my body in front of the camera deck. There's nothing that I can't handle. We're gonna win it. We're gonna win it. Raised by a family of beavers, trained by a group of bald men that Scotty mistook as monks. Scotty Blades is trained to be the world's greatest action hero. Proficient in Chang Wa Fu. You look so young in that video. I was 32 and looked like that. And I was a pack team commander who had been shot twice, stabbed several times, beat all the hell, tore all to pieces, covered in scar tissue, seen the worst, most traumatic things you could ever possibly see. This is four years of streaming and being a content creator. Yeah, it's only 32 in that video. Finally, I'm a home. I'm so hungry, I need to eat something. Is that a gun magazine? So it's our fault? Shit, between... Yeah, just like it's, uh, I'm doing you guys a favor by talking to you. I'm getting chewed up tonight. Whatever it was, I didn't see it. I was trying to get a bowl to make these noodles or something. Hey, key cat. The cat said smile. I love you, little Mr. Whisker Biscuits. Little Whisker Bee. Little Whisker Biscuits. I don't know what could be more sad. Your bed is all... Of course, I lived in an apartment that was just like this, where my bed was in my living room. Basically, my couch was also my bed. That was also my bedroom. That was also my kitchen. It was a one. It was a one-room apartment that had no 
rooms in it. You walked through the door, and it was just like this. Everything was in one. Now, the room was big, but it was, I guess you'd call it a loft. Once you open the door, you're in, and there's no other sectionals. You're, you can see everything. Kitchen, it's all in the same place. Time to take a hot bath. Shower. I'm trying. Mm. Time to relax in front of the TV. Feeling fresh. Feeling fresh. Feeling squeaky clean. Are those rose petals or, check, or chips? Those are chips. All right, little buddy. Let's watch some television. Where did I leave that remote? Up your twat. <laughs> I also don't remember leaving my front door wide open. Maybe I did leave it open. I can't remember. All right, remote, remote, phone, remote. Oh yeah, it was right here. I thought that was a magazine for a pistol, but it was in the freezer. Let's turn on the old boob tube and see what's going on. Tonight's top story: quirked up white guys. He got the juice. If you dream of high salary and career growth, then congratulations, this is your chance. Ernest Company, which has been providing a full range of warehouse services for over 40 years, is looking for night workers in our warehouses. Call us, don't miss your successful future with Ernest. A day later. Going way too fast considering how hard it's snowing. Crank it up! Here we go! Crank it up! Long dong slippers, our fish tastes like chicken. Go ahead. I took the job. Ah! Nice to meet you. I took the job. That does sound pretty simple. What's in it for me? <laughs> the harder you work, the more money you make. Ding dong. Go on. So this is where the Five Nights at Freddy's style comes in. We're alone in the warehouse at night. And the guy, just like the beginning of the game, the guy's calling, he's giving us our briefing, he's telling us what to do, but there's a catch. And what is the catch? But what? Sometimes there are complaints about homeless people seem to me to have a handheld device with camera monitoring and laser checking function. But you are not a guard, so if you are not a tiny one, call the police or Guard. So if somebody breaks in homeless, that is quite common at this place. I'm supposed to hide under the desk or I don't know. Do they not have a insurance policy or what's the word for whenever you get hurt at the job site? I don't know why welfare came to my mind. That's not what workers comp. That's weird. Anyway, the warehouse the way, I advise against serving too many of them, or there's a chance everything will break down in this Alright, very Five Nights at Freddy's, you got a limited power source. 
You control the vents to keep the monsters from getting through you in the vents, and you use the cameras to watch their activity. Okay? Check the manual over the Oh, you don't understand everything. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for the introduction. You know what? Hang up, phone. Screw that guy. I didn't watch the road the entire time I was talking to him. <laughs> I'm a renegade. Uh, let's see here. Quick start guide. You space to read. English? No, I, I want to read it. Push space to read. How do I read it? Oh, you got you to drag it. Um, cameras, user interface. You can choose which camera you want by clicking. Yep. Fan control is temporarily broken, but in manual control mode, you can turn individual fans off and on. All right. I'm sure we'll figure that out as the game goes. Status screen reboot. The status screen monitors the status of systems. Um, we'll, we'll wing it. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. We're out of paint, so you'll deal with the rest of work by yourself. Good luck. All right. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll do it the same way we do every game. Full throttle. Use E to interact with computers. Use E while aiming under the table to hide. Tab to open cameras. Q to open the ventilation panel. F to use flashlight. That's a lot. Monitor the status of systems and listen carefully to detect approaching enemies. And remember, the faster you complete the shift, the more money you'll earn. All right. I do like money. Like dreams. And, uh, I, I don't need your weird nerd shit. How do I... Hello? Hello? Water temperature is at 90, system stability is at 100. I missed me where I got to reboot at. What room is that? Where am I? Here? Okay. Whatever that is, is still there. He didn't say anything about animatronics. He said homeless people. No idea how to work that thing. That's how you hide under the desk. Connection lost. Ooh, ooh. Connection lost. Connection lost. do that.
Safe. Whatever that thing was there moved. Probably through the vent. I wish I knew what I was doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Phone's ringing. Can't answer it. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Holy crap! What good does hiding under the, the desk do? That did nothing. That was of no benefit whatsoever. I died immediately. What do I want to hide under the desk for? Freaking heaping helping of heart attack, Batman. Use E to interact with computers. Use E tab to open the cameras. Q to open the ventilation panel. All right, I forgot about Q. Monitor the status of systems and listen carefully. Remember, the faster you complete the shift, the more money you'll earn. All right. I don't know what turning on the fans do. Maybe that blows whatever's up there away. Everything there's okay. Water temperature 90 degrees Celsius, system stability 100% fan. All right. No clue what any of this crap does. Set switches to match required voltage. Required voltage, 6 volts. 4.1. Current voltage, okay. So current voltage, 6.7. Okay. Now we need 7 volts. Okay. What in the hell is that thing? Look at his hand moving. So there's there's two things hunting us. I had like a weird bag head that was spinning what room is this okay there's the bag head thing these are the back two far rooms and this is where I'm at nothing there nothing there nothing there nothing there okay everything's still good there on the system let's check the vents and scan. So turning the fan on. There's something there. Okay. Uh, 
Nothing outside of our room. Nope. Neither one of them's still back here in the back anymore. They're making their way down the hallway right here. Which still... Connection lost. Okay, they're pretty close. Reboot the system. I'm getting the hang of this now. I'm starting to figure out what's going on. Problem has been detected. The window's been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Uh-oh. We need seven. Eight point eight. One point six. No, I thought that was minus one point six. Vince. Whatever that thing is, it's still making its way towards that fan, and I've got that fan cut on, so. Is there a way to stop these doors from opening? There's that dude, but I don't know where the Chica Chicken thing is at. Probably standing right behind me looking at me. Or it's in the vents. Shit, maybe you do math. I'm in panic mode. Nine. Oh, I can't do any of my nightly reports till I. Oh, shit! Help! It's standing there. I have no idea. It saw me. Okay, it's gone. That actually worked. So you can't hide from it. back in the far corner again. I don't know where Chica's at unless the Chica bot is in the vents. Chica's right outside the door. Oh, shit! Now, I hid from the blue guy. I have no idea if we can hide from the yellow chicken thing or not. I was hiding last time when the chicken hit us. Okay, that sounded like it left. Yeah, it left. All right. We're good. Runtime error. In process. Make sure the vents are good. Vents are back on. Let's check the the vents. Connection loss, that's fine. Whatever that is, it's still there. I guess the fan's working, I don't know. Nothing outside our door. Oh no, I ran out of power! How did I pull that off? 
How do I get my power back? Uh oh. I can't see. We gotta be like Johnny on the spot. Next time with this computer. And there's no timer. So we gotta go fast. And we gotta get these time these tasks done so that we can go home. Man, that blows. You know what's coming. Hurry up, computer! <laughs> we just need to do one more after this, but there's... guessing so whoever there was was over there is left I'm supposed to stay under the desk until I hear the thing ping again. There's no reason to stay above it. If they can't get me under... Oh, 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 oh. I'm a brave boy. I'm a real brave boy. I'm a brave boy. This is such a cheap way to win. But win we will. Uh... No! Another one? Whatever, man. Let's do it.
doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> We're gonna die! Huh? We are so dead. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. I'm not glad we hid when we did. But that's just one, though. There could always be two. Why in the hell is that taking so long? The blade way. The brave way. Be for brave. Be for blades. We're getting clutch on this hiding. Okay. That should reset their behavior for a little while. They both came and checked on us. But there's still, of course, the vent. And you can hear them walk up to the doors before they get there. You hear the, the clopping of the feet. Clopping is such a southern word. Clopping. Clopping. I didn't know I could hide over here. Not even playing that game. Not even playing that game. Hitting the deck immediately. Not answering it. It's probably my boss. Like, hey, I know how to get them guys to stop chasing you. hear anything. I'm not sure if that's a clue or if that's just an effect to keep you on your toes. Congratulations, you've completed your work shift for the day. Your performance points. That's a lot. Your performance rating is C. C for crazy cool. Click to continue. All right. Clicking, clicking.
I earned 4,800 yen, which is a total of, could be 4,800 yen. Hurry up! I guess I'll take this moment to hydrate. I already know how much it is! Is it seriously going to count all the way up to 4,000? Skill issue. Skill issue. No maiden. Where's Michael gone? Michael? Where'd you go, buddy? I'm here to get snatch. You pooping? Michael? Michael, you you pooping, Michael? Michael, you pooping? Guess I'll just wander back here. Now I'm the captain. Michael! Dead. Oh no, Michael! Ooh, Michael! What do you mean? What am I doing here? It's a freaking convenience store, you jack shit! I'm here to get chips and drink. Nothing. Unfortunately, you can be here, so please come out. Oh, I'll come out. All right. Why is there blood under the door? Well, I can't do anything besides do what he says, so all right, sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no blood there beside the door. You're crazy, man. I like you, but you're crazy. What was that? Anyway, I should get myself something to eat. Yeah, I shouldn't concern myself. Really none of my business. Fruit, chips, this stuff, anything? Can I get any of this stuff to eat? I can't grab anything to eat. Last time it was highlighted. Do I gotta get cash first? Yeah, I gotta get cash first. It's been so long since I used cash money. Holding money in my hands now just feels dirty. I don't like it. it doesn't feel right. It just feels dirty. Yoink. Here you go. Hi. Oh, yeah. Give me a bag, champ. Okay. Thank you for the purchase. Gotta get by the way, you don't seem like a local. Where are you from originally? Who cares? I haven't only lived here. I moved from Salaki a few years ago, but I never managed to afford living in a big city as I wanted. So I'm living here instead. Oh, okay. I believe you'll be able to move to a big city in the future. 
Are you happy with your life right now? Yeah, I do believe can be found. Even though most of the time I spent here, far from the city. And for the most part, all my soul is alone. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael from Slovakia? Mostly alone. Okay, yeah, I mean, besides the bodies he's got hanging up inside of his cooler back there, I guess he's mostly alone. All right, take care. Bye. See you later. I'll never forgive you. Forget you, Mike. Pull straight back here to where I wasn't supposed to go to check and see if there is, in fact, dead bodies back here. No dead bodies. Okay. You're off the hook this time, Michael. But my blade senses are tingling. Something's wrong. And I'm going to get the bottom of it. Just like I'm going to get the bottom of who left my car door open. And where are the pigeons? Why is my back car door open? Odd. Skill issue. Am I back home or back at work? I think I'm back home. Yeah, I'm back home. I am so tired after work. Most people are. They're still going at it. I've been domesticating, domesticating since yesterday. The apartment turned out to not... Forget it. Whatever. It's not important. I'm not a speed reader. I take everything slow. Family, I'm home. My little kitty must be hungry by now. I need to feed her. Cat's gonna be dead. Watch this. Oh, nope, cat's okay. Thank goodness. But cat made farts where I got gassed. Was my apartment like the Truman Show? I was just being watched by government officials. What the hell? I'm coming, baby. <laughs> baby! Baby! <laughs> oh no, baby, you turned into a key. Or you were made of keys. Or you probably Eight and pooped out a key. Either way, baby's gone. But I got a key. Nice. So write that down in the blade inventory. Minus one baby. Plus one key. What is Paul of the Red River here? Which leads directly to what could surely only be known as a trap. A stinky trap that makes flowers. What? What does this game have to do with Five Nights at Freddy's at all? You're finally... <laughs> the plants are talking to me now. You're finally here! Yep. Hello. This is normal. Uh, it's been a long time. You don't remember me at all. I don't remember you at all. No idea if you're a daffodil or Puxatani feel, or I'm not sure what you're all about. Perhaps I'm an echo of dreams lost in the captivity of reality. Something else entirely. I could be anyone. As long as you don't remember who I am, I mean, that's the case for anything. If you don't know what it is, it could be anything. That's, like, that's why people, when they screw it in one town, they move to another town to start over again. Get away from everybody that you know. It's like having a, like when you were a kid growing up and you got to move to a new town and go to a school. You could be whoever you wanted to be. It's like having a clean slate. You could be whoever you wanted to be. Where am I? This world is woven from reflections of your journey. A dance on the edge of reason where meaning disappears into the abyss of dreams. And who are you? Perhaps the truth lies beyond in the rhythm of silence. 
And the melody of still, what are you, Sting? Making all these dumb verses? Alright, whatever. We're just going to fast forward through it. What if I don't want to seek the truth? Who cares? Time does not bind you to this world. It is a path into the unknown. Where nothing is an end. And everything begins anew in the eternal rotation of the wheel of time. You have plenty of opportunities to find what is meant for you. Farewell! Goodbye, Daffodil. <gasps> Hello, Hangover. Was it all a nightmare? This game's a nightmare. What's that strange sound? It seems to be coming from the neighborhood apartment. Well, that's none of your business, then. Kitty! It still loves me. And I love you, Mr. Whisker Biscuits. But right now, I gotta figure out what's going on next door. Should I grab my apartment gun? Never mind, I don't have an apartment gun. I got an apartment ducky, but that's not gonna that's not important right now. Which which apartment? It didn't say. Not that apartment. Not that apartment. Not that apartment. Alright. Oh, we're going to get there. I'm just building up suspense by going so slow. It was the one to the other. Whatever. You guys okay in there? Sorry to bother you, but there are loud noises coming from your apartment that are really disturbing my sleep. Hello, could you please stop the loud noises? They're preventing me from sleeping. I don't understand what this is about. Perhaps you should see a doctor. Listen, old man. <laughs> I know what's going on. The sounds coming from your apartment are absolutely horrendous. And incredibly loud. Disturbingly audible in my place. Why are you jumping to conclusions? It could be the next apartment. You sick, sadistic, absolute waste of breath and flesh. You cannot be saved. What do you mean? No one yeah, I know. I, I hear that every day. The internet. I gotta stop going to sleep. <laughs> God, I gotta stop going to sleep. Nightmares. As morning arrived already, guess I'll go wash up after all these nightmares. Time to go wash. I got the night sweats from all the old ladies chewing me upside down. What an absolute nightmare. It was. It was an absolute nightmare. But this is normal. I don't know whose body that was. Was that the grandma? Thank you for playing my demo. If you enjoyed it, I didn't. I have no idea what this game and Five Nights at Freddy's has anything to do with anything whatsoever. That was weird. I award you no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. I have no idea what that was about. But it was weird. And had nothing to do with Five Nights at Freddy's. Other than taking the concept of Five Nights at Freddy's and putting it in your game for 20 minutes. Which was easily beaten by just hiding under a desk. Pretty good game. I highly recommend it. Pretty good game. Last game of the broadcast. This one's called Night Bus. I'm going to put that right below my totally inspicuous 
folder of big titty goth chick photos. If you've not done so yet, folks, don't forget to like the stream. I want to thank all of my heroes today who have made tribute. Melton Millennial, thank you very much, my friend, for your tribute to tonight's adventure. Let us begin our last game. Don't stop to know just what you're saying. Night bus store. Uh oh. Click a couple of buttons nobody needs to see here. Get past my firewall. Firewall. This game here called Night Bus. This game was $5 on Steam. And the game is described as a bus simulator. You're a bus driver, and it simulates the job profession of being a bus driver. And some spooky, crazy things happen. One particular monster they mentioned was a monster called He Who Should Not Be There. Some kind of weird, dumb name. Not sure if it's got something to do with demons or what's going on but we're gonna find out right here right now how do the settings look bunch of stuff epic yeah we want our graphics on epic but we don't want v-sync on we do want our graphics on epic let's ride keep an eye on the passengers oh i will A lot of kitty cats tonight. Hello there, welcome aboard to your first day at first. Thanks for filling in so quickly. It's been half one of the replacement drivers after the three months. Uh, I've got many passages you've seen at the stop. Drop them off at the stop after the day. Not before. Stop marker 665 is out of service. I look normal, but, um, well, maybe just use your best judgment. Try to keep can be a bit sketchy out there. Try not to panic. Don't stay still too long. And there's a cuddly kitty on the dashboard that can help you start to think about too much. I like the Fallout music. That's pretty handy considering we're getting ready to play Fallout. Or getting ready to watch Fallout. Okay, I didn't catch half the stuff that he said, but something that I can pet my kitty with E. I love you, kitty. Some people say I love too hard and love too much. All good. Windshield wipers are on. the rear view mirror we don't have any passengers on our bus right now break the break the cctv all it did was push the buttons how do i get up one ticket please We're just getting used to everything here, that's all. Just make sure everything's working here. Everything looks good. I think we're ready. Here we go. The blade bus is on the move. I think we're in a different country, so I can't drive on the wrong side of the road. Remember to open the door for passengers. You're lucky I can't run your ass over. I tried. Okay. 
Where is he? He's not he's not on my camera. He was back there. Nobody at this bus stop? Why is he creeping? Creep, you scared me to death. Why is that old man creeping me out so bad? Bus stopping. Bus stopping? Or does that mean that the next stop is where we need to go? Right here? Yeah, 66 is where he wanted to go. All of getting off. Thank you. You're welcome. Last chance. Nobody else. Very good. I love being a bus driver. <laughs> this is not the right job. <laughs> this is not the right job. <laughs> Sorry. Birds aren't real. Don't lose your job. Oh, I will. This job isn't for you. It said there's four endings. Hello there. Welcome hey, to how's it going? First day of what all the other endings are? Thanks for filling in so quickly. It's been our fun when we've been trying this after the previous ones. We've got many passages you see in the I didn't catch the part where he's just about freaking out. I missed that. Come on on the blade bus. Stop 661. He's good. He's still creeping me out, but he's good. Cream's another car.
We're going to do a hot drop. I'm going to drive by to shove them out. Remember to check your security cameras? Why? Uh-oh! There's a lot of noise. Get off the bus, loser! You're welcome. Take care. I love you. Hope you make it. There shouldn't be any reason to check my cameras if there's nobody else on my bus with me. Pet asks the roller to stay calm. Why am I... What am I not calm about? Why are you giving me anxiety, game? This game's giving me anxiety. I never had any anxiety. We got ourselves a babe. Nice. Whoa! anything to say there you go hope you enjoy your time on the magic blade bus come on the magic blade bus I'm gonna watch you the whole time I'm driving not because I'm a creep We do gotta be careful. I don't want to hit anything. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Kitty. 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 Ooh. Kitty. Ooh. Kitty. We're good. Come on. Evening. Hey, what's up? Okay. Thanks, <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you make it. Kind of busy. What do you mean, not this bus? Do you want me or not? No, I don't think so. No way. Not that bus. Nah. -uh. I might be done, but I ain't that done. You think I'm gonna get on that bus? Is that bus? Oh no. No freaking way. No. <laughs> Where'd he go? Thanks, the bus driver! Yeah! Goodbye. Whee! Uh, 
Carl Murray celebrates nine months of membership, nine months? Where's the baby? Who's having it? Oh, now I know what's going on. It was running way off of my monitor resolutions at 1980. Much better. Nine months a blade master. Let your eagles fly, folks. Nine months a blade master. Carl Murray has returned from the field of battle and joined us once again. Good to have you back at the table of blades, Carl. Ted, thank you for all the blurps tonight, buddy. T cat. I love you, T cat. I love you, Key Cat. I love you so much, Key Cat. All right, this is somebody stop, but I don't know whose it is, but it doesn't really matter. I want to know what the other three endings are. Kitty cat. We're playing classic. Thanks, Thanks. You're welcome. We got a purring kitty. We've got classic Fallout radio on the radio. We've only seen one pair of bloody handprints tonight. I didn't smear a car head on like I normally do. Nobody else on the train. Her bus. You know what I mean. Nothing to say to me, man. Nothing about how this bus is cursed or haunted or got bad vibes. Nothing. No vibes from you. No vibes, Mr. Whisker Biscuits. This guy has no vibes. No vibes, Mr. Whisker Biscuit. Say where you wanted to go either. I guess he was going one stop down. somebody else on the bus but it did say to stop though all right we're moving on it definitely dinged for us to stop
There was somebody extra right there. The bus isn't empty. There's a guy sitting right behind me. Good even Sam, so they know each other. Justin Lersh has brought back with them from the field of battle another blade match. Let us welcome Stephen Warfel to the Hall of Heroes. Eagle Fly. Thank you so much to Justin for gifting a membership. Thank you for being somebody's hero, Justin. Thank you. Make sure to stop at every stop. Oh, it didn't say that. I think my character panicked Hello too there. much Welcome and to I need to pet the cat course. more. I think that was a psychological ending. I think that might be the hardest I've ever jumped playing a horror game before. That. That got me. That got me good. Really good. I think it's time for a replay. That got me all sorts of good. Oh, did you see that part? Look here. The rolling heads. In that moment, you watched a grown man's soul leave his body. That was rough. That one got me good. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> to a stop at a bus stop and then leave them. 
Get in. Stop. 661. I got you. Cooter Slayer 69 celebrates 12 months of membership. Is this where I go to wash my sister? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey, sisters are off limits here in the League of Blades. But if your first cousin's hot, you can give her a kiss. Leave your sisters alone. Keep them clean. Keep them washed. Twelve months of Blade Master from the great powerful Cooter Slayer. Thank you very much, my friend. I'm going to check the security cameras. I already know what's going on back there. Pet the cat, stay calm. Oh, his stop! Get off, old man! That was a hot extract. Andrew Beveridge celebrates eight months of membership. Woo, eight months, baby. Woo, hell yeah. Hell Fist. yeah. Fist. Eight months. Holding the place at the table of blades. Honor to have you, buddy. Thank you so much for eight months. I like your midriff. Pet kitty, stay calm. Pet kitty, stay calm. Pet the kitty, stay calm. Pet the kitty, stay calm. Pet the kitty, stay calm. Make the cat mad, stay calm. Welcome, I love you, you're my best friend. You're the only one that's nice to me. No, I don't think so. No way. Not that bus. No. -uh. I might be done, but I haven't had them. You think I'm getting on that bus? That bus? Oh no. No freaking way. No. <laughs> Okay, he just disappears. I was hoping we could find out where he goes. Pet the cat. Stay calm. Pet the cat. Pet the cat. Stay calm. Pet the cat. Pet the cat. Stay calm. Hey, we all doing? Hey, you having fun? That's good. If you having fun, if you remember to leave a like on the stream, that's really important for YouTube. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying yourself, and maybe other people will enjoy it too. So YouTube will show the stream to other people. We can get bigger. We can get more people in the League of Blades. We can grow the community. Know where you're getting bad vibe from. This is the most fun magical blade bus in the world. 
Okay, I will. Love you. Tell your friends about the blade bus. Pissing at me, stay calm, Geek Cat. This is the creepy guy with the bow tie. Oh, this is stop 666. Come on in. He looks like the chili pepper guy from TikTok. Some friends chili salsa. I can't remember that guy's name. Chili oil. Chili oil. Some KFC chicken with some Papa John chili oil. I love you, kitty. I think this is the ghost stop. Because it does tell us to stop right here. Yeah, this is definitely a ghost stop. Because that thing dinged for us to stop again. Listen to me right now, kitty cat. I need you. I need you, kitty cat. Kitty cat. I want to make it stop. Hey, man, get on. You're in, a, you're in for a treat. Game stuck. Help me, Kitty. Anybody getting off right here? Am I getting off right here? Stop pissing me, kitty. I need you right now. you man your stops coming right up don't you worry creep god help you okay man take care
don't know how we're still alive, but I'm proud of us. the Wendigoon live. Ending one of four. Winner, winner, deer dinner. <laughs> A job well done. All right. Um... I wonder what the other achievement is. The other ending, I should say. Let's take a look. Uh, a job well done. Pick up and drop off everyone perfectly was their jacket too small come to a stop at the bus then leave just try to relax panic at work that was one of the endings this is not the right job for you get involved in an accident is it me leave a passenger at the ticket machine for a few seconds techno eight break the cctv which i did pretty fast i can't see turn on the wipers pet lover pet the animal 10 times Easy kitty, annoy the cat. So now we still need to do power saver. Turn off the radio, the wipers, and the comms. Quiet quitting. Ignore every passenger. Oh, just drive past all of them. Okay. Turn off the tutorial. Ignore the knock for five seconds. Wait outside the gas station. Never interact with a CCTV. Never turn around for an entire playthrough. So we're just this one we're just gonna drive. And turn off all of our comms. So let's see. Ignore the knock. Ignore every passenger. Turn off all the comms. Yeah, we're just gonna drive this time. It's full steam ahead. It's full tendon. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you to all people who have remembered. Andrew Beveridge, Scooter Slayer, Justin, Carl Murray. And thank you for our tribute tonight from Melton the Millennial. Thank you guys. Where's the gas station? Turn off the tutorial and then radio's off. That's off. What else was I supposed to cut off? Oh, ah. Nice one. Turn off the radio, the wipers, and the comm. Okay. And then we're ignoring all the passengers. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I've not turned around. I hope I didn't. I 
I don't remember turning around. We just gotta keep petting the cat so that we don't freak out. The cat keeps us calm. Did I check them? I think I checked the CCTV and we're not gonna get that achievement. I'm gonna start over. Cause I'm pretty sure I checked the TV. What we need to do this time is just drive. Just drive and pet our kitty. And look for a gas station, which I've not seen yet. Open the door, please, young man. We do need some cruising tunes. Copyright me, bro. I didn't touch the camera. Should be good. The urge to touch the camera so that it stops that buzz noise is high. But I ain't going. I want that other ending bad. Take a little trip, take a little trip, but she's not taking a trip with me. Take a little trip, take a little trip. I love you, Mr. Whisker Biscuits, you're keeping me calm. I would pick you up if you were the last passenger on Earth. I don't remember ever seeing a gas station. I know this road ends, and we end up flying off of it at the end, but I don't remember ever seeing a gas station the whole playthrough. Also, remember, we got to ignore that door knock, the window knock when it happens. Just a little trip. Just a little trip. Is that a gas station? There was a dude there, I saw him. Waiting. Waiting.
Are you kidding me? That was considered hit the car? I mean, I guess I did technically hit a car, but... At least we know where the gas station's at now. And there was a demon dude in the window watching for us. But I'm pretty sure if I look anywhere besides straight ahead, I lose the achievement. So I'm not going to bother looking at him, even though I saw him out of the corner of my eye. This is a really cool concept for a game and actually been one of my more favorite indie games that we played and legitimately one of the most authentic jump scares I've ever had that game scared the crap out of me T minus what T minus one hour till fallout I can't wait I don't ever get this hyped about anything ever I just love fallout so much And I keep hearing nothing but good things. There, from what I've read and heard, that it's the best adaption of a video game since The Last of Us. And that's high praise, because The Last of Us is as high as the bar gets set. I don't know what's up with the van. Sorry, buddy. Ain't picking nobody up tonight, no how, no way. Just the gas station, I think. It Not yet. Yes. So the achievement said wait outside of the gas station. I tried pulling in there. That didn't work. Not looking. Not looking. I didn't look. I, that better not count. I was just petting my kitty. It didn't give it to me. I was just petting my kitty. <laughs> no! You're fired? <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> You're fired. Come on, man! <laughs> Deacon, James!
Ah. That was a good game. I like that. Night bus. Not bad at all. We'll put that in the keepers. The keepers are few and far in between. That was a good one. Well done. Well done. All right, folks, that's all for me tonight. I'm going to go make some supper. And we're going to fire up Fallout. And we're going to watch it. And then tomorrow we're going to talk all about it, about how much we liked it and how awesome it was and how we can't wait to see more of it. Thank you, everybody, that sent Super Chats tonight. Melt Millennial, appreciate you. Thank you, everybody, remembered tonight. Thank you, everybody, that sent... Blur. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. You want me Discord? No, I'll be watching this off stream. Uh -uh. I won't be in Discord. You guys can go to Discord if you need to. It's available for you if you need to. All right. Love you guys. Thank you all. Goodbye, everybody.